What's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Phil Sarpon. Today, we're going to be talking about how to become a neuropsychologist. There are two main ways. If you are interested in becoming a neuropsychologist, stick around. We're going to talk about it in this video. All right, so if you are new to this channel, welcome. Again, my name is Phil Sarpon. This is Phil's Guide to Psy-D. This channel is dedicated to all things clinical psychology. If you are interested in psychology, if you care about self-care and mental health, or if you want a little bit of a sneak preview into what grad school might look like for you, then this channel is for you. So for all of my viewers that are thinking about becoming a neuropsychologist, I think there is a lot of confusion out there about how exactly to become a neuropsychologist. And I've actually been getting a lot of questions from you guys about the specific pathways. So essentially there are two ways, two main ways to becoming a neuropsychologist. Now, I do wanna say and mention, I think this is pretty obvious, but in order to become a neuropsychologist, you also have to have a bachelor's degree. So you have to go through undergrad and, and graduate from a college university. So you do have to have a bachelor's degree. Now, in terms of having a master's degree, it is based on the school. Most United States schools are not going to necessarily require their students, their incoming students to have master's degrees, but it is going to help make them more competitive. So whether a student gets a master's in psychology, whether they get their master's in clinical psychology or in some other mental health related field, that might make them way more competitive as they apply to neuropsychology programs. So getting a master's is optional. If you can go straight from undergrad right into a PhD program and skip the master's and skip all of the student loans and all of the additional time and energy, that is great. If you apply and you realize that you might have to go into a master's to potentially get that clinical psychology or clinical neuropsychology degree, then that is going to be another thing that you can think about. But just know that it really does depend on the school. Now, after you potentially get a master's degree or do not get a master's degree, now there are two pathways that you can go into becoming a neuropsychologist. One of which is actually going directly into neuropsychology PhD or PsyD programs. If you go in this route, you are basically guaranteed to becoming a neuropsychologist, right? Because you're graduating from a neuropsychology program, a neuropsychology school, that is focused on neuropsychology. From there, you would essentially go into a neuropsychology internship, you would get your licensure, and you would start working as a neuropsychologist. So that is the most straightforward way is to apply to neuropsychology PhD or PsyD programs. Now, there is another way that you can become a neuropsychologist without going into the neuropsychology PhD route, and that is by just becoming a clinical psychologist. This method or this way is a little bit longer than the neuropsychology way. It's a little bit more complicated, but it's still doable. If you go into the route of becoming a clinical psychologist, there are different clinical psychology PhD or PsyD programs that have specific neuropsychology routes or tracks or focuses. So you can become a general generalist in terms of a, a clinical psychologist, or you can become a clinical psychologist with a specialty track in neuropsychology. And so this means that you would go through a clinical neuropsychology school or clinical psychology school, and you would take a bunch of neuropsychology classes. All of your clinical sites would be neuropsychology clinical sites. You would basically get as much neuropsychology experience and clinical expertise as you could. Your dissertation might be focused in on neuropsychology, and then you would try and go into a neuropsychology internship site, all right? So you are going the route of becoming a clinical psychologist, but you are taking other additional neuropsychology classes to set you up for becoming a neuropsychologist later in the future, right? So if you go the clinical psychology route and become a clinical psychologist, you get licensed as a clinical psychologist, you graduate from the program with a clinical psychology degree, you may have all this additional neuropsychology expertise from the classes you take or from the clinical sites you went into, but that doesn't necessarily make you 
uh, a clinical neuropsychologist, right? You, you just have a clinical psychology degree. Now, after the clinical psychology degree, you can get additional certification into neuropsychology. So that means that you can basically, your title is a clinical psychologist, but you can do neuropsychology because of your additional certifications. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, it depends on the state. It depends on where you go for school, but that is the general overview that if you want to become a neuropsychologist and do neuropsychologist things, if you want the title, definitely go for the PhD. If you don't know if you want to become a neuropsychologist, but you want to be trained as a neuropsychologist, you can go the route of clinical psychology and just get additional certifications that basically make you competent in terms of doing neuropsychology clinical things. So hopefully that makes way more sense. I've been getting so many questions about that and I wanna do another video to hopefully clarify some of those things. If you guys are still confused, definitely put it down in the comment sections below your questions. I will get to those and I will try and answer them to the best of my ability. So with that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. But with that, I will see you guys in the next video.